hello there welcome back to my channel it is of course chelsea of she designs things and yes it is time for part three of designing a google site with a web designer and so without further ado let's just go ahead and jump into the video so a brief recap of the previous video we went on ahead and developed our logo we chose our colors we build basically everything we needed for our branding we defined our customers our values our tone of voice we, we came up with our name our competitors and some visual identity which i kind of handled that you guys didn't see and of course Parts that I did not share with you was developing a mission statement and creating something that we're going to use later in the Google site and that has to deal with um, the benefits to traveling with us, like what we want for this site. So we're going to need to generate content to go on the Google site. And in order for me to generate content correctly, I am one of those people who need to know what I'm going to be writing about. It is, I don't know how people would just be designing things based on looks like you have to have some words and know what's going to go in there so if it just says like book now i'm like but why <laughs> all right so let's just go ahead and jump into our google site so first thing you're going to do if you are new is go to sites.google.com now i have a plenty pl plenty of google sites um, that i work with but we are going to be starting with a blank google site now, once we have our blank Google site open, it's going to ask at the bottom, unsure where to begin, try a template. And that does happen. It shows up. I see it all the time. But because I did say that I wanted this to be comprehensive and robust, we are totally going to skip that part. And we are going to go in with a bare bones Google site with no pages built out. This is for a travel agency. So you will need to have an idea of what goes in a travel agency website. Particularly what is going to go into this website. We are a carbon neutral business, not the same as um, carbon free, just so you know, because we are a travel agency. Um, but I'll get into the more detailed aspects as we go along. So what do we do here? We have this page. It's blank. There's nothing going on. This is the first page of our site. We have something to title it here. And that is the first thing we're going to do. We are going to start designing um, just kind of mocking up the page layout for this Google site you want to do this before you add your content before you add colors um, you really just want to do this so that you have an idea of what is going to go in the website and how it's going to flow this is kind of interesting because in Google Sites, when we're doing our mock-up we are actually also at the same time creating the schematics for it uh, usually it's done in a different program, um, which I can do and show you how to do it, but I'm not going to do that because you're, you know, new. <laughs> so we're going to try to do everything inside of this Google site. And so, yeah, let's see what we can come up with to create this website. So I have some examples of what would go into a travel site, um, just any old travel site. We already have who our direct competitors are. I actually have another competitor that I added in there, which is Exo Travel, um, just because, you know, travel sites. In a perfect world, we would not only just be taking a page and throwing a bunch of stuff on it it doesn't work that way you need to craft user journeys how people interact with uh your page but we're a brand new business so the only thing we can craft right now is based on industry standard for travel sites what can we come up with and i have a bunch of things we can come up with but let's just start simple first off this we want to make a larger section we want it to be an image so we are gonna say that this is a cover image and to get to the cover it's simply at the corner I'll change it back to um, just the regular banner when you're inside of your Google site and you're hovering over this front section right here on the left hand side you're going to see a panel and it'll say header type we want to change the header type to cover and this will allow us to put in a background image or a background a GIF that's going to work for our Google site. For now, we will just title this home and then we'll just kind of leave it 
leave it like that. So we'll slide this over to the side. I'm sliding this over to the side for a reason, just a little bit. Um, and I'm going to take this uh, first content block in the insert panel. You can't insert in your header, but what you can do is insert in the page and then bring something up from the insert into the header. So that's what I'm doing right now. <clears throat> Delete and add this bit of text. And I'm going to scoot this over here. And now I am going to take this title text and shift it over to the side. I have not put in any colors, any fonts, any stylings. Remember, we want this to be bare bones. We want it to be simple so that we can come in and make the changes the way that we want to. What information are we wanting to present? What do we want our um what do we want our clients to do when they go to our site? That is the importance of this section here. This is called your hero section. You will have multiple hero sections and opportunities to present this information throughout your Google site. So let me show you what a hero section typically will have. You are going to have a title, something that's happening, like, like what, what the statement you want to make and then what you want someone to do. That's known as an action. What do you want them to do? So on this one, it is get an estimation for this one. Again, the title and then some bit of information like it's a purpose of what you got going on. You know, what is it that you do the best and what you want people to do after? Again, same flow. Chanel even does this. Chanel, you know, it's Chanel fashion. What's happening? Oh, we have this um, coming show in Miami. You want to see more? Click see more. Um, and then here is a great example because we are creating a travel site. So book and travel wherever you go, make yourself at home. Like that's what they want you to do. Where do you want to go? And then it check in, check out adults, children, whatever the case may be. Another one. So these are just some really cool examples. Even Airbnb, uh, this is their hero section for their homepage where are you going check in check out dates guests you get the point all right so moving on let's go ahead and now and just start adding some sections like I said we're going to be making changes to these sections as we progress through creating the Google site but I'm going to start with that same section that we grabbed before and place this just below this large header section and this is because I have an idea for what I want to go here it's important to already have a flow for your website I will say that until the cows come home it's important to have a flow so now that I have this section here I am going to go in and do almost like what you would if this was a standard website and just use um, these four sections here which we can consider like our benefits the benefits for for going with us now on a typical web design there is a ratio and I do talk about this like how to get started in your Google site uh, but not only how to get started in the Google site, but you're able to get sort of a page layout directly from me in my other website, which is uh, the sierraproject.org. So here is sierraproject.org, that's S-I-E-A-R-A -A <laughs> dot org. And you can just go, it's always linked in the description um, if you wanted to see this layout that I have in here, but this is the essential layout for a typical stereotypical website, literally what it would look like. Um, and because we are a travel site, we want to focus on the imagery. So ours is going to be a little bit different in how we present the information, but the same bit of information will still be on our website. So let's go ahead and head on back, look at our Google site. And now we are going to have just our benefits information and let's add a bit of text. So I am going to just double click here, text. And I'm going to switch this text to a header and I'm going to say, I'm literally just going to put that this is, um, I'm going to copy the information that's on the template. Paste and center it. And then I'm going to move this up because this right here actually belongs to this section. Now I am going to duplicate this section. 
save yourself some time <laughs> and headache and just duplicate sections. I'm gonna just duplicate it three times. The first time I'm gonna move it under here. And then now that it's under here and it says uh, benefits and all that kind of stuff, I'm actually gonna change this out and this is going to be sort of a little bit of social proof in here because I'm getting that stereotypical layout laid out, <laughs> layout laid out <laughs> in here. Um, so for this bit of social proof, we'll just talk about like two quotes, like people who've gone on our adventures or whatever. And then I'm gonna drag this right underneath. And instead of this, what would typically be a portfolio or your product or something like that, we are travel agency. So we are gonna put right in here, this is going to be our destinations. So I'm gonna just say, destinations so the four destinations we can say destinations or adventures or uh, tours whatever the case however you want to phrase it that is what we'll call it so we'll just put this in here so this is our adventures page yay so very simple, pretty much easy to understand, you know, hey, what's happening? This is something that we want people to do. We want them to be able to take action. Notice I haven't added any buttons and I have a, I have a reason for that. We don't have any other pages to add buttons for. So <laughs> there's no reason to put the buttons. So now we have all that bit of information in there. Now let's add in sort of a pseudo footer. Um, so the footer will open up and it's going to kind of give you a line with the small text. Uh, so I'm going to just do something right here. We'll just say home. And that's just so I know that this is the footer area so, so that it's not left out. All right, so now that we have this very dull, very boring home page, what would typically go inside of a travel site? We need to add our other pages. So to add other pages, you can open up the pages panel, locate at the bottom where you see page, and you have to determine right now, this moment, <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but right now makes the most sense um, into discovering what type of page you wanna have. Do you wanna have a full page embed? Is it something you're gonna be creating in HTML somewhere else and then bring into your Google site or something entirely different so for me i am going to just say that this is a uh, normal page and i'm gonna leave it untitled and i'm gonna add another one and 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 another one so quite a bit of pages and you might be thinking, that's a lot of pages. Well, think about this. A typical website has about five pages plus the two pages if you have a terms and conditions and privacy policy, uh, but you also have a contact us and not only the contact us and about us, you know, a story, whatever the case may be, um, your product page, something to that effect, like products, blah, blah, blah. So you have to add those in there. And for this site, we have to have where you're going, destinations, booking, all that kind of stuff. So now we have home. Let's go ahead and edit these pages because we know what they're sort of going to be. So to edit, I'm going to exit that again. I'm going to select this first page here, click the three dots. And then right here is where I'm going to scroll down to properties and delete this information and make it the about us. So this is going to say about us, done. And I'm gonna do that for all of the pages. And then once it's done, I'll show you what we have. All right, so now I have everything so far, thus far, that I want to have inside of this site. I went on ahead and added a link to the blog. I'm not going to build the blog in in this series um, that the blog will be probably done if you wanted to you could create a blog that links out so this is just a link which to add a link you just hover over the plus sign and then 
there's a new link and it'll still show up inside of your tab of your website, but I just decided to let it link out. It'll probably link out to like blogger or something instead of doing an embed. So now I want to just kind of uh, create, make the pages lay out in a specific order in the menu. It just makes it easier for me to be able to uh, focus and, and not have a whole bunch of pages laid out here. Not to mention, it just looks better for your site. Eventually I will hide all the pages probably if I choose to, um, but we'll, we'll see how in depth I want this series to go. Maybe I'll make that in a advanced tutorial or something. So just, I guess for the sake of this simplistic tutorial, we won't worry about that. All right. So let's just go ahead and add these pages. I added a page here for legal. Um, I'm going to add a new page. Let's see. I guess I didn't. And this is now going to be the legal page. Instead of having a whole bunch of pages in our footer that link out to so many different things and having these long winded pages that go on forever, um, break the pages up. It just makes it easier. So now I'm going to keep this legal page here and I'm going to add it, add in to the legal pages, nest in other pages. To do that, I'm going to just click on the page and press and hold it and then drag it and place it inside of the legal one. So again, I'm going to take, um, say, booking conditions and drag it and place it inside of legal. And I'm also going to do the same for terms and conditions. All right. And I think those are the three that I want to include in here. So I'm going to move this so that it's up higher. And now I can close that and I don't have to see all the pages there if I don't want to. But it's just there so that you know it is. So now I'm going to put the blog, leave it here. Responsible travel, I'm going to leave that right underneath there. Legal, I'm literally going to double click, not double click, but click on legal select the three dots and then this is what I want to do hide from navigation so this will hide all the pages that are nested inside of here and the reason I did that is I just don't need to see it across here it needs to be clickable down at the bottom but I don't want to showcase the pages on my menu so they are still inside of my site they are just not being shown in my page menu all right, so now let's just go ahead and take a look at the About Us page. And for this, we're going to say who we are. And I'm going to double click on this and type who we are. And I just prefer that. So now I'm just going to go back over to the insert panel. And typically the who we are looks sort of something like this. Blah, blah, blah. Words, words, words. And then maybe you have some images or something like your story you need to have your story so i have blah 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 our story and then i don't know some grassroots information there <laughs> little photos and whatnot so something that kind of again gives you an idea of what's what to have in this section so let me delete this so now I'm going to add some text again to add text and not have to use the top portion over here. Simply double click, add text. So I'm inside of this window because I only want to add this piece of text underneath here, which it will attach it to something um, when you do it that way. But I'm just going to detach it by grabbing it and then dragging it in its own section. So now it's in its own section. I'm going to click in the text box and select header because that's what this is going to be. And then I'm going to center the text that'll be in here. And then I'm going to actually expand this across. And now I'm going to just write humble. Uh, what? No, that sounds cheesy. What do we want to say here? Um, we'll say where it all started. And then now again, duplicate the section and I'm just going to drag this right underneath these two. So we have the images or we can change it around. It'll be something else. And since we have where it all started, now we're going to start talking about um, the types, you know, why we're doing this business, you know, all about our business. So 
um, we can say um, carbon. Let's see, carbon footprint. And typically you wouldn't have to write any of this in here, but again, it's a Google site, so you have to know what the heck are going to be going in these little boxes um, and what information you're gonna have where. So this is an essential part to your Google site process. And this is the part that takes the longest because everybody wants to start in the middle, everybody. But you, you can't, <laughs> you, you literally will be working all day on the same website and then getting upset with why it doesn't look the way you want it to because you're starting in the middle. So um, do the work. So we have our carbon footprint. Um, and then what else? What else? What else? What else would we like to talk about? Uh, responsible travel. Let's make this a capital. And then after that, uh, becoming an ethical brand. And I'm going to capitalize E. And then let's see. Right after that, let's just go ahead and do something like this. Drag and drop. And again, none of this will stay looking the way that it does. All right. And then we should also do something, click again. And we're gonna say, uh, what the future holds here at, and we'll say, and travel co. All right, awesome. So we have that, we'll just drag and drop one of these in here. Actually, no, I don't wanna use that gradable. So what the, what the future hold? Maybe we talk about our current projects in, you know, making the world a more sustainable place. Uh, so we'll do something to that effect in this area. So I think the who we are slash about us page looks pretty good. And we're gonna just move on forward to the contact page. The contact page is the simplest. We are gonna use a uh, Google form for this. So I'm not even gonna worry about putting anything in. So I'm gonna just say contact us. And here's the deal. You have the choice. You can use a regular page for your contact form, or you can actually use a link, or you can use the full page embed for your contact form inside of your Google site. And then you don't have to worry about, you know, the sizing or anything like that. So it's totally, totally your choice on how you want it to look, but I am just going to leave this just like, like you see it, because I think I'm going to just use, um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just leave this just like this. <laughs> All right. So contact this form done. Now destinations, we will say this is our destinations page. All right. So now that we got destinations across the top, what would go in a destinations page? Obviously places to go. So let's just go ahead and grab some destinations to do that. I am going to take the four image grid and drop it right underneath. And I'm going to do this twice. And then I am going to add the uh, image grid that's right over here. Just drop it into the Google site. And there you have it. There's our destinations, maybe with some images, maybe an image carousel, but I can't add the image carousel without having content to add in it. Hence why it's not there. I could absolutely mark up and add, do like this. So drag this section here, drop it in, take this block section that's at the, at the side and delete it. Take this, move it in the middle and then double click in the same section. And just kind of add a note to myself, swap to image, whoops, I can't see my keyboard y'all. So yeah, I can't see my keyboard, swap to image carousel. I don't know what the heck is going, oh, there we go, that's better. So now we have a note that just says uh, swap to image carousel that lets me know that this section I need to swap out to become an image carousel 
And we'll just leave this exactly as it is because the destinations, again, we'll just add in after. Once we add the destinations in, we can go ahead and add the additional pages for each destination. But for now, this is just mocking up the, the first part of it. All right, so moving on, let's talk about the experiences page. What's different from the destination versus an experience? What is the difference between a destination and an experience? Well, the destination is the place, the experience is what you have going on at that place or at any place for that matter. So let's craft and curate our experiences. What type of experiences does and Travel Co. offer? So when I think of experiences, like I said, it's what you're doing there. So let's go to the insert panel once more. And here we're actually going to use the three image block with the header and the text. I'm just going to drag that in there and it looks great. So this way we can kind of talk about the experiences and what we offer and drag again and drop and drag and drop. Now I did say that I have an idea of what I want to have. So I'm just going to write those in here. All right, so now I have gone ahead inside and added, and let me just delete this extra one, <laughs> added our experiences. So maybe you are an adventurous person or you want a remote destination, safaris, beach, culture, culinary, snow and ski. So these are what I think of when I think of experiences. What is it that you want to experience? You can both be remote and in the safari. <laughs> just so you know, it's, it's possible. You can also be... Uh, safari and adventure uh, adventure and snow I mean they're snowboarding you know so there are different experiences and it's all about curating our experiences for our travelers in a way that is going to positively impact the environment yay <laughs> so keeping that in mind I mean I could totally do this you know I did sell vacation packages <laughs> which I guess I'm kind of cheating if you put it that way but it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the responsible travel page. So here is where we really want to talk about what makes our agency stand out, what makes us different, how we're making an impact on the environment, um, what it is that we do that can ensure that we are being not only carbon neutral, but maybe we are um, leaning towards becoming carbon free. Uh, but it's kind of hard to do, but we will we will try to achieve this, try to make this an accomplishable goal. So let's go ahead and drag in something, some elements. So I'm going to drag this first one in. So this will just say um, impact. I don't know why I made that lowercase, but so this is going to be our impact. And we'll leave this here, like so that we'll talk about what we're doing. And then here we'll kind of outline what it is that is making us do these things like what do we do do we um how are we able to make these travel arrangements so that they're eco-friendly um and then we can talk about more sustainable options here like sustainability so let's talk about sustainability um let's use the smaller one uh, so let's just say, um, let's see, I'm going to call it this. I'm going to say, eh, because I'm lazy. Eh. Yeah, I had an idea already, so I'm just making it happen, y'all. So now I'm going to take this, move it over one, take this, move it over one, slide that out. Perfect. Now we have what we want. We have the information that we need for our site thus far. Um, and we can continue and go on down and add more information as we go along in here. We can talk about certifications that we may have, which help to prove that we are a sustainable uh, organization and what it is that we're doing for the future. All right. So cool. Let's look at the other pages. Um, now here, I'm not going to talk about the booking privacy policy terms and conditions. You can actually use a generator for the privacy policy and the terms and condition. Booking will literally be whatever you want it to be. So this page, legal, 
We definitely want to add in an insert in legal and the insert will be basically a brief overview of the three pages that we have in here. So the three pages when you click on the pages panel, we have the booking conditions. So we'll just go ahead and add them in here. Booking conditions. And then over here, we'll talk about our privacy policy. And what what was I trying to spell there? <laughs> um, and then terms of use, excellent. So now we pretty much have everything we need for our website. We have sort of a pseudo layout for the home page. We have our about us page pretty much done and ready to go to put information and content in. Same for the um, contact us page. Actually, I need to add something to the contact us page. Go to the insert panel and now we're going to select the placeholder. And I'm just gonna expand the placeholder out and I'm gonna bring it down. And then the only other thing is the header. I'm going to change this header type to a banner. Want it to be small. I don't need it to be all kind of crazy. It's literally just a contact us page. All right, so we have, yes, the so contact us page, our destinations, which we have listed down here. The link out to the blog, which literally links back to the homepage right now, just so you know. The experiences page, our responsibility, you know, responsible travel, that legal page we created, which I will also take the legal page, click on header and make it into a banner. It doesn't need to be like super great. Um, to which we can already go in and add the links to these, but I'm choosing not to. So we'll just go on to um, booking conditions, privacy policy, terms and conditions. And now if you want to go ahead in and add the titles, so I'm going to make these title only pages. So this is booking conditions and I'm going to say booking conditions and here again for the privacy policy title only privacy policy and here title only terms and oh wait no no not terms and conditions we're using terms of use so while using our site our services our products whatever the case may be awesome so the pages are all laid out and ready to go now now my friends we can actually start adding in our theme <laughs> so um, after we add in the theme, then we'll move on to sourcing images, you know, kind of just what you would generally do sourcing the images. And, um, I'll show you the content generator that I use for my templates, which is like lorem ipsum. But as you can see, I had to pre set up or pre-design or pre lay out what I wanted to go where. Now, as you notice, I haven't put where the logo is going to be yet. Any of that information. I try to not do that right away. Um, and something I'll take care of later towards the ends is the footer section and things like that. But right now let's go ahead and, and start working in our precious themes. So inside of themes, you are all familiar with the Google themes here, and you've probably never used the plus to create or the import. Obviously for the sake of the video, I said that I would show you how to create a theme. And so I will. But if you didn't want to create a theme, you could absolutely just go on and select one of the Google themes if they suit you, your brand, your organization, if it's what you want to have. I mean, they're not all terrible. They're just not what we're working with. Um, so that's classic. This is light. We got that purple going on. I'm kind of jealous with their themes because they get to use boxes. Like, I want to use a box. Like we, we don't get this option when you bring in a custom theme. This is not something that you get to have. So that's kind of sad. That disappoints me. And then you also can't make 
the change in here to the theme to their theme so keep that in mind like if you really liked the the highlights that it adds um man you can't see them anyways if you really like the highlights that they added you could have did that but i am not worried about it all right so <laughs> let's just add in our theme man i'm jealous see i'm super jealous they get like the cool stuff but their fonts suck and you can't change them the only way you can change them is individually and that to takes entirely too long so i ain't even worried about it bam let's work on that theme so to create a theme hit the plus sign for your theme now here is where we're going to title the theme so i'm going to actually title this and travel co and then i'm going to say main I did say that you can create multiple themes, those multiple themes you can utilize throughout the year. Maybe you want to have a theme for pride. Maybe you want to have a theme for, um, I don't know, St. Patrick's Day, whatever the case may be. Maybe you're running a promotion or a sale and you want to use a certain color scheme or a color palette that is a little bit outside of the scope of your normal business colors. Create a theme. Or just duplicate your theme <laughs> so going on here we can add a logo add a banner image if we want we can just go ahead and toss in our usual banner our banner image that we exported yesterday or whenever man, when did i make that video well we'll say yesterday for the sake of this video so i'm going to um skip adding the logo but i am going to upload a banner image and i'm going to just click upload and then Let's see, I got the lady traveling that says Anco. No. Ooh, yeah. So I, <laughs> I've been working on other designs and honestly, I found some really amazing images from Unsplashed. And obviously I will link the uh, Unsplashed images down below that I located, but they are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to go with it. I know, I know, I'm cheating. I am going to skip adding the logo here for now because you can add it somewhere else and then the colors portion of it you have the preset colors we already have our brand is brand defined colors so i'm going to select custom colors and here i'm going to just head on back over to milanote let me just pop this out so that i can view it along the side and now i'm going to bring in our main color which if you aren't familiar if we scroll back down through baseline our main color is right here so if i wanted to i could just click the copy inside of here for pine needle head on over here and paste it and then the other two colors i will be adding in and i'll show you exactly where So our font we have already established, heading on through, scroll on down, we know that uh, our font is Julia Sands 1, regular, joust, regular, and joust, regular, again, this should be joust light, and then this should be joust regular, but I'm not going to fault them for it, it's okay, they tried, they tried. So let's scroll through, and I do have a ton of fonts in mind. If you're like, hey, hey, hey. Where do I find the fonts? When you click on fonts, it says more fonts. Click on more fonts. And then once it opens up, find the font, just type it in. I really have an issue with people who don't look at things like <laughs> my boyfriend doesn't look and he's like, I can't find it. I'm like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> you just get so upset. It's the difference between actively not looking for something because you do not care and just being lazy. And I just, I do not have the tolerance for that. So remember, just pay attention. And if you really can't see it, you might need glasses. I know I need glasses. I actually need to just re get a new prescription, but whatever. So Julia Sands 1, we got. And then we know that we are going to be rocking with... I forgot. Oh, Joust. We're going to be rocking with Joust. And I'm going to set this to Normal. Don't worry, we have plenty of, we are going to be able to make the change that we want to because the body is going to be normal. And we're just going to say create. 
And so now Google does its magic and it creates our theme. So here is our beautiful home theme. And let's just go ahead and take a look at Anne Booyah. It's so pretty, a little sterile. I could do with something a little better, but you see at the top we have, it's a black color, the about us page. Um, what else? Contact us destinations uh whatever we want we just we just have some really amazing really amazing layouts going on all right cool so now that we have the layout we're gonna just go back home and now let's go and tweak the theme so we are still in the themes panel we need to work on the colors section first so for colors i'm going to select the default one which is normally selected where it says more select more in my opinion I would probably use a lighter color um, so say select this and I'm gonna say white 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 there you have it now it's all white and white so now all of the font Inside of this area would be white. Everything in here would be that green color. So here's how you'll know what's going on with your section colors. Select the section and then select the section color palette that comes up on the left hand side. And then say, I'm gonna say number two that gives me the white font. And the last color that um, dark deep green color that's called kelp will give me white lettering and I think those look really cute so let's just though let's add our actual colors so I am going to go back into here which is into baseline let's scroll back up into my colors so I added the olive let's take the color silent smoke which is a lighter color and we are going to use that silent smoke to create the title color in the darker panel. So I'm going to select the title color, click on the plus sign, and right here where it says hex, delete the code that's in there and paste the code that I received inside of baseline. So that is right here. So I just simply copied it and then I pasted it here or you can type it in there. It's 100% your choice. Then I'm going to save it. And there you have it. And now to make sure that the color has actually shown up, if you wanted to, you could, um, let's see, double click this text here and turn it into a title. And once you do that, you see that the color has changed because we changed the title color font. But I'm going to make this a header again. <laughs> let's make this um, white white let's turn this into that lighter color right there um no because we're working with white let's make this the darker color and just see if it, it's going to work out um to do that i did make that a header so yes as you can see now we see that um that sort of color which looks really really cute adventurous i like the way it looks i'm going to change this image something about it is bugging me I like it, but I'm going to just change it real quick. I know it seems like Chelsea sidetracked, but this happens. <laughs> Trust me. Um, upload. Oh, scroll down. Hold up, fam. And I'm going to actually go back with this. Yes. Turn off readability. That's much better. Okay. Cool. I like that better. And then, I, although I have this set to that one green color, I'm actually going to change it out to be this green yay so that's going to be the pine needle green uh yeah that works out much better <laughs> so we have the pine needle green and then let's see and here we have where's that darker color the darker color isn't showing up since we removed it but that's okay i'm going to copy and now in the light sections i'm going to use Add a color, double click, and this is where I'm gonna put that Rosalind dark, dark, dark green color uh, in here. And I'm actually gonna use that 
as the body color two and the small text color in white. For the light color scope, I am going to use, um, let me see here, this darker green for the title. And let's see how that works out. So I'm going to change this to brown. So that makes that darker green. Hello. And then this is, as you can see, white. And that's how I get my background colors to look the way that they do. But if I wanted to set all of these sections to the same, but still alternate the colors, all you'll do is go in and set every section to the same color. Right, so we'll say that every color, every uh, section is going to be this tan color. And then now it's like, oh, it's boring. Um, so I'm gonna highlight this, I'm gonna turn this into a title, turn this into a title, turn this into a title. So see what I've done is I've turned everything into a title and made the entire page the same color. Now let's say, you want the background this color, but you don't want the text in one of the sections to be that color. Highlight the text and then select the A icon that's the font color. And you can simply change the font color for that single section there. Now keep in mind, whenever you do changes like this, once you make a change to your site overall, so I'm gonna exit out of this and just hit uh, simple. And then I'm going to hit Diplomat, and then I'm going to hit Level. The only thing it's changing is the font, but it is not changing the font color because I have already established that this is the font color that I want to use for this particular uh, site. So just keep that in mind whenever you're making changes to your Google site. All right, so let me just go ahead and do all that because I don't want that. Awesome, cool. So now we have our theme inside of our Google site. So let's start working on kind of correcting some of the things that we have, like things that we, we probably look at and like, eh, I don't really like it. Um, so the font, we are not gonna work in the fonts panel just yet because we haven't imported any font into our Google sites. What we will work on is the images. If you have your logo, this is where you can add the logo and the fave icon, which is a small icon that shows up at the very top of websites whenever you are viewing them. So this just lets people know what tab they're on. So I'm gonna upload the one that we created. Uh, let me make sure I even have it because I probably just left it. There it is. So I'm gonna upload it here. And I'm going to upload my Google, upload my logo in here. Where, where do we put it, you guys? I have so much stuff in this folder. It's, it's sickening. <laughs> there it is. All right, so I'm gonna upload that and attach it. And here I'm gonna add some alt, alt text information, which is, it's gonna say, and travel co logo because that's my logo so now if you look in the top we have our and travel co and i'm going to show you what it looks like looks beautiful scroll on down so to change the effect let's say you brought in your logo and you are like man it's black but this top part is really throwing me off because it's not making it be the color that i want well to fix that to correct that whenever you're having sort of like that sort of an sort of an issue like that on your site um, just scroll on down to navigation inside of your themes panel and where it says color when scrolled you can adjust it you can make it um, any color that you want you can make it white you can make it cream so for me I'm gonna make it that lighter cream color Okay, so now we have our colors set in, we have our imagery placed in, we can anchor our uh, image here if we want, we can anchor it down more, um, that way it's focused more on the bottom, so see just like this, so that the green is more towards the top, um, if there's something we prefer and something we want to do, 
or we can anchor it more at the very top so that all you see is the tree tops or just dead center which dead center works for me i think it looks fine being straight in the middle all right so going on forward let's see let's just double check make sure everything looks good 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 hmm cool so we'll go ahead and close this now i will say the top navigation we'll get into um, a little bit later same with the components components for your google site are your text buttons and i will start working on the text buttons later on <laughs> but for now i wanted to just get this layout done and make sure that you have this starting point to work on when we move forward with creating your Google site. All right, so again, this video was long, but while long, I do hope for I do hope that it was helpful for you while creating your Google site. And as always, stay tuned for the next part of the video where we start getting all those images in and we really start to see our design take hold. All right, thanks so much for watching and of course, laters.